Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so this is another uh, mega ship construction episode. What I'm going to try to do is we have our Kerbin transport here, which is you know still in construction right now. Um, you know, in orbit around Kerbin and all that other good stuff. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different than basically any other creation I've ever made, and this is a l gonna be a really different at least I'm going to try I don't know how well this is going to work out I really don't know what this thing's going to do so chances are it might not end up working correctly but basically I want to make a transform uh, oh wow a transfer module and what I'm looking at is basically these outside pieces here are all gonna be fuel tanks while the inside is going to be some other construction basically it's going to be something different and what I'm going to do on launch is empty the tanks like I normally do so I think I should get started on this just so you guys can understand a little bit of what I'm trying to do and I really don't know how well this is going to go so um, I'm really trying to stay positive about this so Let's see, we're going to need a little tank here, and I think that will be good. Um, that will probably work really well. Let's see, and then we need to build our struts out, which I don't think is going to be much of a problem as far as lining up. I'm, I'm looking at it right now, and I don't really think it's going to be much of a problem. So all we need is these four. Um, and let's see this yeah that, that oh god I hate it when they come dia uh, diagonally yeah diagonally I hate it when they come like that because it's so hard to get them lined up diagonally well I, I can't believe I just said that so this is going to have to come down a little bit more um, just so we can attach all these pieces up now let's see yeah, we're not going to be able to do that. Can I put these on the strut? Alright, well this is going to be one of the ugliest pieces that I put on the ship, but it will be one of the only p ugly pieces I put on the ship. At least I think... There might be a different way I could do this. I'm not 100% certain on how I could set this up and have it still look good. Hmm. See, this is the one major part that always kind of sucks when building these things, because you have to keep everything lined up. And the only way to keep it lined up is to use stuff like this, and it's always the same story where you can't get something to look exactly the way you want it to. Just let me place it there. I'm not going to leave it there. Just give me a break. There we go. Is that enough of a distance for you? Do you like that? Are you okay with that? No, you're not. So, I'm just going to have to add on a different module here. Change this over to the bigger tank. Now, I hope that these things are all lined up. You're going to have to go through... For someone else who's building something like this, you basically just got to go through and check them all to make sure that they're all relatively lined up, which they look like they are, but I could probably get a little bit better. You want it to look like, um, you know, basically so you can see the ring on the inside of one of these at least, and then you'll know that it's close enough to where they will all actually dock. So. This is what we've got right now, and I think this is basically how the design is really going to go from here. I don't really like this, though. This just looks so ugly looking, but let's see. Oh, I forgot to incorporate the command module, too, which I think I'm just going to slap on right here which is going to go like that and then we need to add on our 
our service module, our um, are basically a module to transport the Kerbals because we're not going to be able to fly this up to a little ship. I would rather have a little ship inside of the big ship. A ship within a ship, yo. Yo, dog, we heard you like ships. So, uh, let's see what we can get. Um, I, I'm going to put this here and put it... Well, see, the thing is, is I'm worried about stability. And the main thing is I don't want this little ship in the uh, attached to the big ship to be rocking around and all that other stuff because I, I can put struts on it but the struts are only gonna last until I actually use it so that's going to be the main problem so let's see we're gonna need RCS and we will definitely need some fuel and this is going to be a really big ship. So, um, we're going to need RCS. Where is RCS? Give me some RCS. Yeah, I'm, I'm in like the wrong category looking for RCS fuel. And yeah, give me this, switch this over. I'm sorry, but whenever I design a ship, I always put the RCS first. I don't know why, but that's how I always do it. So, I'm going to put this here. And we're going to be able to transfer crews of four. And that's, I think, the best we're going to be able to get out of this. So. See, I wish I could put the fuel tanks up here. Because it would look better. Also, I could kind of make the ship a little bit more compact. Well, I can put this here. I just don't like how it's going to look afterwards. But that's just me. Otherwise, I could do this. I think I'm okay with this. It will make it a little bit more compact. And let's just, you know, for now, I gotta line this up. I am ultra annoyed every time stuff like this doesn't line up. So bring this over. I think it's off by one, whatever. Yeah, perfect. So now what we need to do, um, I gotta line this up. Which means I'm going to have to change this a as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with this side here. So we're going to need a decent size fuel tank. I, I think I'm going to go for the medium size fuel tank here. Uh, where is it? I'm, I'm like completely lost right now. There we go. This is what I was looking for. So we're going to put four of these on it. And hopefully this doesn't sink in enough to where there's a problem. And there is, of course. So bring this up. Come on. Attach. There we go. Still a problem. Like this here. And then I'm going to basically bring this up. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. So this thing is going to have like a really small fuel tank, basically, and it's not going to be able, this thing isn't going to be for traveling huge distances. It's going to be for basically in orbit around Kerbin or wherever we end up. So that's going to, you know, basically be, you know, the end of it. It's not really going to be, this thing isn't going to be traveling to Duna or something, let's say, you know, it's just, it's going in orbit around Kerbin and that's it. So we got our main stage here and then afterwards I'm going to add on these fuel tanks and these are going to come down on the side, which I, I'm, I'll do that right now. So the fuel tanks themselves, it's nothing too special. That's the one thing I will say. It's This ship is going to be very different than anything I've ever built. Because it is a transport ship, it is probably going to be pretty freaking massive. For the amount of Kerbals it can hold, I am pretty much happy with the way it is anyway, so. I was surprised that it even made it into orbit, so. that That is always a good thing. If it surprises me, then, you know, I, I, I haven't, you know, I generally don't get too surprised when I play this game, so. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we need fuel tanks. So, fuel tanks... Uh, orange tank. There we go. 
Now I'm thinking when I attach these engines, I'm gonna do it along the same lines as what I did with um, a few of my past vehicles I created where I'm just gonna launch blocks of engines and just attach them up on the bottom because I think that's the only real way I'm going to be able to attach all the engines to this thing and for it to be stable as well because I, I remember I have to actually take off with this. I have to take off from Kerbin and go all the way into space like this whole part you, you know from here on you can just forget about all of this is going to be gone so just forget about that that stuff even exists so this is kind of what I want to go for though if, if you can understand how this is going to work there's gonna be a little ship inside a big ship and on the back here is going to be all engines so that I don't really need a huge amount of fuel but at the same time I feel like this is sufficient So now I'm just gonna slap on some RCS, or well, the RCS thrusters and stuff like that. Let's see, I forgot where I even put them on this thing. All right, yeah, there, there they are, right here. So I didn't put any on the other side or any other place. So I'll put some right here, and I think I'll put some at the end here because I'm not going to put RCS on the engine blocks that I attach. So. There we go. I, I think that will work. And basically, once the engine blocks get attached, this thing will back out. And that will be, you know, how we get in and out of our main ship here. So, let's see. I can attach... See, that's the thing, too, is I'm looking at places where I can attach all these um, thrusters and everything else. Because there really isn't a lot of room to do all this stuff. Because I want some at the end, but at the same time, I can't place them everywhere. So I might have to end up offsetting them, which I really don't like the idea of, but that might be what we have to do. Otherwise, I can just go like this and just kind of put them, I can clip them into right here. I mean, it's not really clipping because there's no real parts that are actually clipping, but I think that's the best we'll get. So I'm just going to leave it like that, to be honest. Oh, I forgot something, too. I, I, I should have remembered this. I usually never forget to add these, so. Why did that reset? That drives me nuts. There we go. Perfect. You know what? Boom. Oh, come on. Give me, give me the other piece. I don't want that. Oh, my God. This thing is finicky. That's, that's always good to know when you're building something and it doesn't go the way you want it. So anyways, I just got to attach some struts and I'm going to figure out on my own basically on how to get this thing attached to a rocket and get it into orbit. So anyways guys, uh, thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more of these videos to come. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.